Bonjour, Guten Tag, and Hola. And welcome to the Modern Foreign Languages Department at Hobart. Uh, my name is Mr. Rushton. I'm Head of Modern Languages um, in the school. And we also have Mrs. Holt Clogan, Miss Brock, and Miss Crow, um, who teach for or teach with us too. So, I would like to just spend a little bit of time today telling you uh, something about the first few weeks of your language learning journey at Hobart. Firstly, you'll study French, German and Spanish in a rotation over the first term. So between Christmas, uh, so between September and Christmas, you'll have roughly four weeks of French, four weeks of Spanish and four of German. Uh, then in December, I'll be writing to your parents and asking you to choose which two languages you'd like to study for the remainder of Key Stage 3, so up until the end of Year 9. I'd like to now spend a little bit of time thinking about why languages are important uh, to us. People always say, uh, you know, what's the benefit of studying another language? Everybody speaks English, surely. Um, well, we'll look at this during the course of the next year but for me the main reason for studying a language any language at all really is communicate with people be able to talk to people um i've met some wonderful people all over the world um in you know places from germany to hungary poland mexico spain um and been able to have you know meaningful conversations with them and uh, also to get help you know medical help and the like when we need it um, it also helps you to learn a little bit more about your own language, um, which you know, in this day and age is really quite important. Um, and that's something we'll come back to in a little while. Now, when we think about languages, we think of French as being something which happens in France and German, something that happens in Germany. But actually, it's a bigger world out there and languages are constantly influencing one another. And what I'd like you to think about really now, and this ties in with what I was saying about English earlier on, is are, are, are all of the words that we use in everyday English, which have come from somewhere else. They're not naturally English words. So, for example, French, we have words like baguette and beret and literature. In German, we have dachshund. Hamster, kindergarten. Spanish, for instance, we have cafeteria. Actually means coffee store, in the literal meaning of it. Um, fiesta is a party, and salsa. Um, so there are thousands and thousands of words in the English language which we borrowed from these three languages alone, um, let alone you know, the ones we've stolen from everywhere else. Um, so I wonder how many more you could find. So what I'd like you guys to do over the next few weeks is to have a think about the words that you can find ar around you. So when you're talking to mum, dad, um, aunts, uncles, whoever it is, just think about the language that people are using. Is that an English word? If not, or if you think it might not be, go away and have a look. See if you can. You can bring some examples um, with you in September. The other thing I'd like you to have a think about is the products that you've got at home. Um, have a look through the cupboards. Might be worth asking first. Um, but how many products come from different countries? How many come from France or Germany or Spain? Because without somebody who can speak Spanish, French or German, then these products wouldn't have arrived in your home. They wouldn't be with us now. Um, they'd still be sitting on warehouse shelves, uh, shelves in um, in Europe. So have a look at all this and actually start to think about the world around you, because actually the world outside of East Anglia is a much much bigger place, um, and it's much bigger than England, and it's much bigger than the UK, and even bigger than Europe. Um, so. Have a think about these and I'll look forward to uh, hearing your ideas and hearing what you found in September. Take care and enjoy the summer.